Hi guys, and welcome to tonight's episode of The Have and The Have Nots. When I tell you when this show first come on and Hannah pissed me the heck off. When she sit up there and, and going to say, I don't know who your daddy is. Then why did you just say that this man was doggone Candy's dad? And then you're going to turn around and say, I don't know. I So I need to know what's going on. Was she was you raped? What happened? Was she molested? Was she prostituting? I need to know because I was so upset. Ah! So anyway, they get to talking. Benny trying to drag Candace up out of the hotel room. And Hannah, Hannah arguing with her and telling her, you know what? Let her go, let her go, let her go. And then Can Candace and Hannah get to talking and she want and Hannah says, Is that what you really want to know? And Candace really wants to know this. Like this is something that's really been affecting Candace and that she really been holding against Hannah. So Hannah, like, okay, girl, you wanna know? I'm gonna tell you what happened. So y'all, Hannah start telling her what happened. She was raped. When I tell y'all I was bawling so doggone hard, all she knows she was raped by somebody with a freaking line tattoo. Her issue this whole time with Candace is because she Candace is a product of rape. And she, she basically told Candace she is a rape baby. And she didn't want her, but her aunt didn't believe in abortions. And she had to keep it. It was after she got raped, that's when she went to, she got into church the, the first time. So it's been more than one time, the first time. And she admitted that she wasn't even being nice to Candace. Like, she was being rough and she was being mean to Candace. Because of where she come from. And so she, she... When she was raped, how she was coping with it was she just started messing with men, men after men after man after man or whatever, whatnot or what have you. So now we know where Candace get it from. I guess the difference is maybe Candace getting paid for it. But anyway, they go through all of this after I done cried and got a headache from crying and whatnot. Candace gonna tell. Hannah, she didn't believe it. I personally feel like Candace was just playing hard. As soon as they left, before they left, Hannah done took her shoes off. She knocked her shoes together. She said, you want me to leave? Okay, I'm going to leave. She sat down in that dock on chair, took her shoes off. Let me set up for you, get my church fam. She... She knocked them shoes together and she asked Hannah what kind of voodoo was she doing. Hannah said, Matthew 10, 14. And let me tell you what Matthew 10, 14 says. And whoever will not receive you nor hear your words when you depart from that house or city, shake off the dust from your feet. Boom. Come on in the room. Come on. Oh, I'm sorry. We about to have church. Y'all. When Hannah left, when I say Candace fell apart, she know her mama not lying. When she know when her mama done dusted her them shoes off and quoted that Bible verse, she know her mama not lying. She know she not. I'm going to tell y'all what. This too much. I can't take too much more of this. I hope they about to receive some kind of breakthrough. Because all this crying got my weight up and down, my hair falling out. 
Tyler Perry could have just cut this ep tonight's episode right here. He just he could just cut it right here and we could have been done right here. Cause I'm gonna tell you, I needed to just go to bed off of this right here. I I didn't even need to see no more. But but anyway, that's that book right there. Isn't that what the lady said? <laughs> Sitting down there talking to David. That I, I I that was it. That was we could have ended right there. So I'm gonna try to move on. It was hard to move on after that. But anyway. So Catherine's still trying to hook up Derek and Hannah. I'm gonna tell y'all what. I was texting my daughter and mama because my daughter's on my mama has watching this, and I'm thinking the same thing my mama was thinking. If she mess around and get with Derek and he take off his doggone shirt and he got a lion's tattoo, y'all, I'm done. I won't be able to watch this show no more. I'm telling y'all right now. I'm telling y'all right this minute. Trish fan, give me, I, they about to make me lose my composure. Woo! It's too much. I'm telling y'all right now, it's too much. Woo! This show got me in my feelings. Let's try to move on again. I'm telling y'all, he just, it was too much going on this episode. I'm telling you. So, Ronica, hashtag Ice Queen, called Benny as expected. Let me get your phone. Hello, Benny. Benjamin, it's Veronica. Child back. Hang up that phone. Get off that phone. No, I ain't I'm calling that young boy trying to sweet talk him. <laughs> no, 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 Ronica, no. Anyway, Benjamin's still going to play it, though. He going to play it. We're still on her good side in case he need an attorney. I still can't say I don't blame him because he going to need one. He keep messing around with Mitch folks. He better be trying to invest in some, bu some bulletproof vest. He messing around on pay for this truck. Anyway, so Candace called, uh, you know, Rocky and Candace over here with the prostitution, prostitution ring. She done called a new girl up to her room. So, uh, she wouldn't be my pimp. We would have been up in there duking it out. Candace slapped, Candace slapped me. I would have knocked five from her. Ain't no way. She up there and um, told that girl dress. And I don't care how cheap Candy said the dress is. It's my dress. She's not going to be carrying my dress and slapping me around like I'm no punk. That girl, she, she could have uh, um, manhandled Candace. We'd have told that room up. You're not going to be putting your hands on me. I'm I'm with that, that girl. I learned my own roads take all the money. I'm not about to be paying nobody for my body. Ain't no even way. If I'm going to be sleeping, I'm going to be getting the money for myself. I'm not, no, I'm not paying no pimp. <sighs> that she crazy. Anyway, David done sit down at the station all night trying to get Jeffrey out. And I hope he heard him get Jeffrey out of there because here come Justin acting like some little schoolhouse crush. He this fool crazy. He gonna end up hurting Jeffrey. But um I'm glad anyway, I'm glad um David had to break down and call Jim, see if Jim knew anybody. He said, Yeah. <laughs> Catherine daddy name. So he called Catherine and Catherine gonna make some calls. But I hope he hurry up because he go Justin up in there manhandling Jeffrey about to kill him because he talking to Wyatt. That boy, he crazy. Justin crazy. Y'all, I was hoping that when he went over to Je to um Wyatt house that Wyatt was going to have a bunch of people over there to beat him up or either he was going to have some baseball bats and some guns and be ready to beat him up his himself or he'd be done called like some police somebody they knew be done name dropped his his granddaddy name or done something not just be sitting over there looking stupid waiting for him to come over here because Justin done rolled up in here with a crowbar trying to bash his head to the white meat after he done we need to I got to see the next episode see what kind of state he done left Jeffrey in. I hope his daddy walked in and seen Justin and pulled him off of him and got the boy some help because he's going to have to get him away from him and here go Justin talking about he done went and got them an apartment together that he hit. No, no. No. Oh, no, Jeffrey, baby. You got to get yourself out of this. This is too, too much. Hey, too much. So, 
Jeffrey been journalizing his little thoughts or whatever to an email and Justin got the boy phone going through everything. Now he talking about you lie. You play me. Ain't nobody done played. You played yourself. You the one forced yourself on him. Done messed up your marriage. He 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 told you from the beginning. No stopping don't. What part of no stopping don't do you not get? You forced yourself on him. He didn't force himself on you. Let's get it together. Like... This all you, boo. But anyway, what I tell y'all my last review. If you don't know, I'm going to leave it at the end of this video so y'all can just click on it and watch it. I told y'all when Benjamin and old boy got Veronica out of their car that he was more worried about Melissa than he was Veronica. Well... When Veronica was calling him over to the hospital, she was wanting him to go to her house and get some stuff for her. He walked up in the room. Did y'all see this on the previews? He walked up in the house, and guess who was in there on the bed with no clothes on? This was all in the review, so we got to see the next episode because it's going to go down. Melissa in there looking sexy on the bed. Still ain't got no pregnant belly. I got to say, I can't believe they ain't got her nine months pregnant by now. I told y'all they'll make a cute couple at this point. I keep waiting for her to lose this baby. But Benny, the type of, type of man, he'll help take care of the baby and be cool with Jeffrey the whole nine. But anyway, like I said, it's going to go down between Benny, Veronica, and Melissa. I think why they made matters worse for Jeffrey because Justin really going to harass him more because he's just crazy. And... and I'm going to see now how bad he's going to attack uh, why He's going to be the made why turn back to drugs. But anyway, that's all of this review for tonight. Go watch my previous reviews. I'm going to leave my playlist here right after this. And I'm going to leave, let's see, what else will I leave? I'm going to leave my previous reviews. Be sure to subscribe, hit that notification button so you all will know when I upload more reviews. Hauls, DIYs, hair reviews, or whatever it is that I'm doing. I thank you guys for watching. Stay tuned for the next show from your girl. And I'll see you then. Bye!